Cleanup of the Sheboygan River has been a hot topic for the last couple of decades. Recently, there was an opportunity to use the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative grant program to do some habitat restoration along the Sheboygan River. We're uh, standing at Esslingen Park on the shore of the Sheboygan River, one of our project sites uh, here at Esslingen Park. Um, well, some of the main features on this site uh, were designed by Interflu, one of our sub-consultants. Uh, they were active and involved in placing these boulders for habitat uh, in the river and also developing a gravel shoreline here. Uh, again, providing access for fishermen and also improving habitat in the stream itself. My favorite piece, there's a couple of them. One is this pond right behind me. But this pond itself used to be a borrow pit. It was just a, a muddy pond from when they built Taylor Drive Extension. Used a lot of the fill for, for the project and it was very unattractive. Um, its typical color was a muddy brown, and it, it did not have much character to it. Whereas we see today is a completely transformation, a beautiful wetland. A lot of wildlife is already reintroduced with this habitat, um, and it's just been wonderful. So we're here at the Taylor Drive wetland site. Working with Scott Horrors and with Rose Shimaluski with Ecological Services of Milwaukee, the two of them formed a, a really good design team when it came to the vegetation planning and also the permitting aspects of the project. So we came up with a, a variety of wetland features, log habitat being anch anchored in the ground. We also have on, on my right here, there's a hill there on the side of the wetland. That's actually a reptile hibernaculum, which was designed by Dr. Gary Casper, who was on our design team. When the pond was dewatered at this point, SEH team came out, looked at the site along with the contractor, came up with some innovative ideas to, to dewater this, get it to a, a workable state, uh, saving significant dollars on the project. Also, we had a lot of uh, bird features, habitat features, uh, birdhouses. Uh, there's an, um, a great blue heron, actually an osprey nesting platform to my back. Um, and the bird habitat was designed by James Havel with NES Environmental Services. SEH came up with the design with a great team. What we have here today is the results of that great effort. Uh, it's just been a wonderful transformation. 